Winchester, Virginia, we're talking about the cost of living in one of the up and coming communities in Northern Virginia. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to More Space Real Estate. I'm Moki Musau, here to give it to you real, raw, and close by and by fair housing law. I'm out here in Leesburg, Virginia. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We're so glad to have you. Before you get up out of here, go ahead and grab your free Home Buyer Pro Kit in the description. Also, subscribe, join the team if that's something you're open to do. We're always excited for new members. All right, so today we're talking about Winchester, Virginia, the cost of living, and the six most important things you gotta keep in mind when you're thinking about, if you're thinking about relocating out to this part of the, uh, of Northern Virginia. Now, Winchester is a city in Northern Virginia, one of the more up and coming uh, cities. It's it's westward and it's it's far enough west to where you can feel, you know, that you, there's a separation between maybe that fast paced, you know, Northern Virginia lifestyle that, you know, characterizes, you know, where, where we're at here, but it's still close enough to where you're not totally removed from uh, all the you know the trappings of northern virginia's success right um, it's got a population of about a little bit less than thirty thousand. and one of the things that characterizes um, winchester is that a lot of people particularly now in just the way that the world is changing particularly even the u.s is changing a lot of people are are moving out to winchester because they're no longer having to be tied to uh you know living near where they work and so big picture winchester is more affordable than um you know Loudoun County or the closer you get to into Loudoun County and Fairfax County basically the closer you get to DC uh, the more expensive uh, everything is so Winchester is one of those places it's, it's a place that is uh, still uh, uh, relatively affordable compared to places like maybe Leesburg Loudoun Ashburn Fairfax County so the first thing is uh, just general cost of living Winchester is uh, 3% the cost of living in Winchester is 3% higher than the national average but it's four percent lower than the virginia average consider a place like leesburg virginia we're 28 percent above uh the nat the cost of living here is 28 percent above the national average so relative to other cities in northern virginia winchester is one of the more affordable affordable options one of the big factors that keeps the cost of living higher than the national average and this is the second thing is the housing winchester housing is 62 percent higher than the national average but all housing in northern virginia is higher than the national average so 12 percent above national average or 92 percent above national average which is what um uh, leesburg uh, housing prices are compared to 92 percent 12 percent is this allows dollars to go further on you know the northern virginia salary styles that we the salary expectations that people have working here so so the housing is is higher than national average but it's but relative to where we live uh, where winchester is in the northern virginia you know ecosystem uh it's it, it's one of the places that people say man you know what if i could i would move out there and the the third aspect of cost of living is is just you know general goods and services groceries and that is that's below the national average not by much but just below now winchester is out west it's up and coming and so you know the the, the trappings of a place like loudon county or leesburg or ashburn with all the the county revenue that we bring in through taxes and and all the businesses that are finding their way into places like this the, it raises the, the the cost of goods and services, cost of groceries, because you get more high end luxury uh, and those kinds of things. So Winchester doesn't have as much of that uh, of those uh, high end, higher end um, options like relative to a place like Loudon. Not to say it doesn't have any, but it doesn't have as much as a place like Loudon County or Leesburg or close the closer you get. Uh, to DC but it is increasing and it and, and where it is now is a place where uh, it's it 
it's it's affordable it works for the community and for the people that that live in Winchester and so if if that's something that's important for you where you the spending daily regular you know spending kind of that re repeatable spending for you know what you need to live and what you need to survive uh, it, it's it's rel it's it's relatively cheaper uh, on this side of on this side of Northern Virginia than it is in a place like here the fourth factor in cost of living that you got to consider is a transportation in a place like Winchester um, you probably you'll, you'll have to drive almost almost everywhere but uh, and 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 especially if you're commuting if you're one of those people that uh, commutes to wherever you work let's say you're working in Fairfax or man, let's say even work somewhere like DC right a lot of people who who move to Fairfax and work in in um, closer to DC uh, do it because it, it's it's more affordable their dollar can go for further like you know 500,000 will get you more in Winchester than it will in somewhere like say like Fairfax right so, but but know that the that the the cost of commuting is 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 going to be real, is going to be higher, right? So you've got to you know, average commute for someone who works, uh, who commutes to work, let's say further, you know, more up north in Northern Virginia, the the commute, average commute is is an hour and a half one way. Just make sure that you're you're, you're planning for either have a uh, a fuel efficient vehicle or get a Tesla I don't know whatever you got to do but just recognize that uh, you you'll have to drive a, basically everywhere uh, now you know Old Town Winchester it's walkable it's not very big but it you know it's it's walkable right but um, other than that um, and obviously you know look if you want to walk you can walk wherever you want you could bike wherever you want um, Winchester's um, really good about biking and hiking um, but in terms of like trans getting from A to B to do something um, you're, you're gonna need to drive so you know really like factor that into um, into your costs now the fifth thing to think through in, in terms of cost of living is the, is employment Winchester's unemployment rate is about uh, is 32 percent lower than the national average and the reality is that the amount of jobs the, the kind of jobs that are available somewhere in like Loudoun and, and, and Fairfax are may, may not be as available in, in Winchester. So a lot of people c live in Winchester, but work elsewhere. They work in Fairfax, they work in DC, they work in Maryland. West Virginia is right across the border. Uh, it's right, is, is really close to, to Winchester, so they work there. So it's not necessarily a hot spot for employment, but it is a hot spot for employees who work elsewhere and want a, a better cost of living. So the sixth uh, factor when you're thinking about living in, or the cost of living in Winchester is livability. So AeryVibes.com has this pretty cool um, framework for how they talk about if a place is, you know, there, it has a livability score. Winchester's is 77 over 100. You want to be on 100 is the national average, below is good, above is, is becomes where, you know, is, is expensive. So Winchester's at 77 over 100, and this this means that it's a place that is affordable and one where uh, has a combination of affordability and uh, opportunities for different things. Like you've got great amenities. If you're thinking about, uh, it's in the Shenandoah Valley, so it's there's land and nature everywhere. So it's got. Um, hiking, biking, a lot of outdoor opportunities, uh, museums. It's got history and, and culture. Uh, so if you, you, you there's the museums of the of the, the the Civil War. There are memorials for the Korean War and the Vietnam War. So there's history there. There's also the the crime is also low and improving and getting lower. And the education also is ranked highly and improving. So you've got this combination one of of, of quality services and quality opportunities and afford, affordability. Now, housing in Winchester is ranked F, but everywhere in Northern Virginia is ranked F, not because the housing is bad, but because the housing is expensive. Now, in a previous, in, in another video I uh, made that's, you know, it, talking about it's talking about escalation clauses but I talk about the difference between a home being overpriced and a home being over list price so everywhere in Northern Virginia everything is expensive may not be overpriced but it is expensive 
So that's something that we all have to contend with here. So if you're thinking of moving down to Winchester, just know that you're not gonna be thrown out into the you know great beyond where there's nothing, you're gonna have to live on sticks and whatever. I don't know what I don't know what they do out there in the great beyond. It's still, and, and from, from where I live, it's only 40 minutes away. There's still a lot of ways that you can stay connected, a lot of ways you can get connected if you're thinking about coming out here. But there's also ways that you can stay connected and get connected in Winchester itself. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's something you like about Winchester. Winchester, I've learned, is a place that uh, people are either this way about it or that way about it. And the middle is it doesn't really have a whole lot of people in there. I personally, um, I, I think Winchester is a place that's really growing. Um, a lot of people that I know, a lot of neighbors um, that, I've, I've, uh, that I know, um, they have friends or neighbors who used to live in this neighborhood, um, people who used to live in this neighborhood, they've gone on to uh, move on to, to Winchester uh, to find uh, a place there. So it's, it's, it's growing and it's, um, you know, in the next, I don't know, 10, 20 years, you know, Van Meter is gonna be out there, you know, running the things like, like they're taking over here in Ashburn too. So it's, it's you know, and, and so the question becomes, you know when when will when will you know people start thinking about Winchester you know is it gonna be like Ashburn or was it gonna be like Leesburg was you know 20 years ago right where it was just nothing but farms I, I don't know who knows right but it is a place that is is definitely increasing in reputation increasing in popularity over time so I hope it's helpful for you guys and and, and hopefully uh, it's a place that uh, you know you if, if it's something you're considering at least give it a shot all right so that's all I got you guys you got my contact information in the description below go ahead and grab your free home buyer pro kit um, comment like if, if you don't like it, go ahead and do it, but let me know why. Um, and um, if you want to join the team, go ahead and subscribe. We're always excited about new members joining the team. All right, from me to you, it's always fun. Until next time, take care.